Just a word about revival and reformation. Now, we're hearing it constantly talked abroad. And, of course, we heard the vision of uh, Pastor Wilson and how we all are challenged to have revival and reformation in our lives. Uh, but just a word about it. Let's, let's look at those two words carefully. The first word, revival, uh, it's mentioned in the Bible, in the Old Testament in particular, and it means a quickening. It means an awakening. In fact, it means that we go back to the time when we first met Christ, that encounter with Him, and we keep it real. We, we don't leave it like an experience that happened once in our lives, like maybe 10, 15, 20 years ago. But the revival part means that we bring it in daily on a regular basis. And so the revival aspect, even though we're emphasizing it now, it should never stop. In fact, revival should continue until Jesus comes. We're constantly being revived. But we don't stop there. We are revived, but then revived for what? What is the purpose of revival? You see, if we're just happy and joyful, which is good in itself, but that in itself is not enough. Revival must go somewhere. Okay, it's like if you're getting the car, you're going to the destination, what destination are you going to? Well, the, re the destination or the end of revival is reformation, okay? Uh, we, we want to be reformed. You say, well, what do you mean about reformation? Sometimes when we think of reformation, we think about the Protestant reformation, you know, Martin Luther, Zwingli, Huss, and others, or we may think about something more extreme or fringe, like does that mean that I have to not eat this or do this or do that? What does reform mean? Reform means what reform needs to mean in your life. The revival aspect awakens and kind of causes us to be thinking about what is not right in my life and how do I know what's not right? Well, I know what's not right by looking at the Bible and the spirit of process surely is an illuminating factor to the Bible that will help me with that and other things or maybe people around me. They're saying, look, man, look, Delbert, you know, this is not right. Or maybe I'm impressed in my heart. The Holy Spirit impresses me what's not right. That's the area that I can work on. That's the reformation part. What do I need to reform? Do I need to reform my spiritual life? Is it that I need to reform my relationships? Maybe my entertainment, my leisure time, maybe health. Health is a wonderful area to reform in. So whatever it is, the quickening leads to transformation, to, to, to a rebuilding or a reforming or renovating. That's what that means. So I just simply hope that we keep in mind there's two aspects to, to it, you know, the two oars to uh, helping us in the little boat here. As we move along, one is the quickening and two is the transformation. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful experience with Revival and Reformation.